Moving on to endocrine word roots. Okay, so we'll start with adeno. Now this is this this term adeno kind of details what we find in the endocrine system. So an, an adenoid is something that looks like one of these structures. An adenectomy is a surgical removal of one of these structures. What is the structure that we are talking about? Adeno means gland. Okay, so an adenoid is a small structure that looks like a gland. Uh, an adenectomy is a surgical removal of a gland of some sort. Okay, so adeno means gland. Adreno, let's, let's move on. Adreno, like adrenaline. Um, you, you should be able to figure out what this is just by kind of looking at it. Um, now, the, the fun thing about some of these terms, like adreno, is they're, they're actually two terms that come together to make a word root. Okay, so ad means toward. That's a prefix toward, um, like, like the, the term adduction. You're moving a structure toward the midline of the body. Ad means toward. Reno means kidney. So it's a gland you find toward the kidney, toward the kidney. It is the adrenal glands. Okay. So adreno means adrenal glands. So if you see the term adreno something, it refers to something involving the adrenal glands. Okay. So like adrenaline is, is a hormone secreted by the adrenal glands. What about calco or calso? You can see either either one. Hi, hypercalcemia is an example. Is, is an example of this term. Hyper too much cals. This term emia. Emia means blood. The suffix emia means blood. So it's you have too much of something in the blood. Hypercalcemia means too much calcium in the blood. So cals, calso calco means calcium. Okay, so you see that term, you know, calcium is involved in some way. What about gluco? Like glucose or glucagon. Okay. Glucagon created by the pancreas, right? To increase the amount of what? In the blood, it converts carbohydrates to glucose, also called sugar right? Gluco means sugar. So um, glucagon, again, created by the pancreas, converts carbohydrates into sugar, and the sugar is what we use for energy in the body, okay? So gluco means sugar. What about glyco? Hyperglycemia. Uh, this is also one that means sugar, okay? So hyperglycemia, you have too much sugar in your bloodstream, right? Um, hypoglycemia, you have too little sugar in your bloodstream. Maybe you have too much insulin at any one moment. So if you go, if you go, if you go on a diet where you are eating really low carbohydrates and really high protein, then one day a week, you have that cheat day where you eat a bunch of carbohydrates. Your body's not used to having that many carbs. So it, it, produces a lot of insulin, which then lowers your blood sugar, and you might become really, really tired at that point. Um, so anyway, uh, glyco, sugar, um, hyperglycemia, too much sugar, hypoglycemia, too little sugar in the blood. Uh, moving on. Gonado. So the gonadotropin is our example. So this refers to the gonads, right? So the, the testes, the gonads, um, it's essentially it. Uh, it's our, our sex organs, uh, those organs that produce the testosterone and estrogen, gonads. Okay, homeo. Now what, what do we think of with homeos? Homeostasis? 
So let's describe what's going on with homeostasis with our with our internal environment, right? The homeostasis it deals with our internal environment. So what are we hoping to achieve with the in, internal environment? What do we what are we hoping that the internal environment is like? So stasis means standing still. Homeo means same, right? So we're trying to get the internal environment to stay the same and stand still. So we, we have that set point, right? So temperatures are our example, 98.6 degrees, constantly fluctuating around it, but we want it to stay relatively, you know, the same, the same temperature. Um, stand still, stay the same. Homeostasis, um, an example, right? Homeo, same. Moving on, Cali. Now here's here's another one of those words where it's not an O, it's not an E for the connecting letter, it's an I. Um, so ju just be aware that that just because the letter is different doesn't mean anything anything else. It's just just a different letter, right? And that's still where it would connect. Um, so hypokalemia is is our example of Cali. Okay, hypokalemia. So hypo, again, too little. Emia, blood, too little of something in the blood. Kali means potassium, okay? So hypokalemia, you have too little potassium in the blood. Okay, moving on to thyro. Okay, so what, what do you think thyro means? Like hyperthyroidism, hypothyroidism. What do you think? I, I, of course, it means thyroid. Thi thyro means thyroid. So hypothyroidism, your body's not producing enough thyroid hormones. Hyperthyroidism, your body might, produ might be producing too much thyroid hormone. And you got to take medications to kill, help uh, level those hormones out quite a bit. Okay. What about toxico? like intoxication. If something is toxic, that means it is poisonous in some way, right? Like alcohol is toxic to our internal environment. Um, so it, it is considered poison. So toxico means poison, intoxication. You have, you have too much of a poison in your body. Okay. Thalamo, moving on like a thalamotomy. Thalamo, kind of like thyro, just means thalamus. So again, you can just kind of match up those pretty easily, I think. Okay, so thalamo, thalamus. Okay, and that should be it for our endocrine word roots.